Are you stepping into your 30s but haven't had much dating experience? Or maybe you've been divorced for a few years now, but you're ready to enter the dating game again. Whether you consider yourself a late bloomer or want to avoid making the same dating mistakes, here are five dating tips when you're older. One, give online dating a try. People often fear meeting creeps online. And while they do exist, times are changing. With the evolution of dating apps, meeting people online has become more common today. Here's a fun fact. My boyfriend and I met on OkCupid. What matters most is using good judgment when you decide to talk to someone. Do you guys live too far away from each other? Will commuting be a problem? When the two of you meet up for the first time, make sure you agree upon seeing each other in a well-lit public area, such as a coffee shop, museum, or a restaurant. Avoid meeting at parks at night or at each other's homes. This makes the meetup safer. Two, you don't have to date with marriage in mind. Who said your 20s was only for fun and flings? As long as you and your partner agree ahead of time that none of you want anything serious at the moment, you can date casually for as long as you like. There's no need to settle down with someone by the time you turn 30, especially if you haven't dated much. If you're not sure what you want, don't stress about it. Dating is all about trial and errors. Just make sure you make this clear with your partner and you're both on the same page. Three, don't let age gaps scare you away. Maybe you feel old because your date doesn't know any of the bands you listen to or you make antiquated jokes no one tells anymore. But don't let age gaps stand in your way of finding romance. My boyfriend and I are eight years apart. Sure, he was reluctant at first to date me because he was scared that I didn't know what I want. He was wrong, of course. As long as the two of you are of legal age, if you guys have good chemistry, age just becomes a number. What's more important is dating someone who is emotionally mature enough for you. And age doesn't determine that experiences do. 4. Try new things. Don't use your age as an excuse to turn down dates at the amusement park or trendy bars that make you feel old. You also don't need to try so hard in order to stay cool. As cliche as it sounds, someone will like you for who you are. Just keep an open mind and don't be so quick to turn down opportunities that can be fulfilling and worthwhile. 5. Remember love doesn't have an expiration date. Thanks to social norms, we often have a pressure to get married and have kids by the time we reach a certain age, as if there's an expiration date. But marriage doesn't equate to love, and having kids doesn't save a broken relationship. Go at a pace you're comfortable with, and don't let anyone make you feel small for where you are in life right now. People don't have all the answers when they grow up, so expect to make some mistakes along the way, and have fun. We wish you the best of luck on this wonderful journey of self-discovery. Are you inexperienced at dating or giving it another try? Please share your thoughts with us below. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more helpful tips and share this video with others. With your help, we can reach more people and provide our support. Thanks for watching.